so just woke up and uh, yeah i want to show you the new upgrade to the bicycle so here's a 3d printed part and uh, that is my new shoe rack so as i mentioned um, earlier i want to get rid of the black bag which was uh, here on top of the red bag so uh, put something in to to show it to you and um, in order to achieve that i had to find a solution for the shoes and uh, that is the solution so thanks to matthias again for your engineering uh, qualities and thanks to zip ties <laughs> Um, yeah, and that is that is the result. So print, printed some uh, parts here and uh, attached them with the zip ties. And as you can see, like it's a pretty solid. So there's nothing moving which shouldn't move. And yeah, here's also why. That's what it looks like when the shoes and the flip flops are on there. And yeah. Hopefully it will <laughs> last long enough, but uh, the 80 kilometers yesterday um, went well. Ah, and yes, uh, Tom Turbo is uh, <laughs> uh, from the intro. It's an it's an Austrian children um, TV series, and yeah, I did not know it before, but I was introduced to it. So yeah, that is Tom Turbo. So today my muscles in the upper thigh are um, <laughs> hurting even more than before. So actually now also when I'm just walking, and uh, yeah, I was I was thinking a little bit now now what to do, and I decided to to listen to my body and to to take a break. I will um, ride to Vienna today uh, by train, and then get some proper rest there with several days with not cycling and with recovering. As you can see in my journal, I spent a few days in Austria. Especially the sleeping category France and Apps comes up a few times in a row. These were the days I spent in Vienna. There is still unseen material from the days in Tyrol that I don't want to keep from you. So let's jump back to day 41. By riding through the countryside, I found the store which sells gear and items targeted for farmers. Of course, I had to check it out.
What I've learned on the journey so far, where there's rain, there's also sun. And so I spent this afternoon at the pool, whereas yesterday I drove in the constant rain. On day 42, I left my bike and took the train to watch a vintage car rally. The goal was to cover the distance from here to here in exactly 5 seconds. The closer you were, the more points you got. I would like to draw your attention to this sign here. It translates as Cattle Barrier. And here you can see how it works. Cows and other animals don't go over there because they would get stuck. I almost get crazy now because I hear now like a sound all the time while driving and I try to figure it out all the time and was checking for the brakes and everything and now I think I know what it is <laughs> so here's something separated and every time I drive it does like this and uh, yeah, I think the sign at one point has to go <laughs> The beauty of traveling alone is that it's easier to get to talk to people when you actually meet them. And so I listened to the sounds Bob elicited from the flute while I gazed into the distance. <laughs> 